Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Okay, I'm doing a lot of pre-filming at the moment. Well, some pre-filming. And today's video is going to be a book haul because I have a bunch of books here that need a place to go and I can't stand it any longer and so we're doing it. And I'm gonna try to make this the fastest book haul I've ever done. So I'm not gonna get really in depth with the stories. I'm so sorry. I really just need for my like headspace for this to be gone. So I'm gonna be going rapid pace. If I've mentioned them at all in any unboxings, it's just like, okay. I'm sorry if this is upsetting to you. You can let me know how you feel about this video afterwards, but let's go. First we have In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune, Fairy Loot Edition. The Broken Binding Edition of The Bone Ships by RJ Barker. The first edition, first print run of Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. This is the Illumicrate edition of Some Desperate Glory by Emily Tesh. It's got some really cool sprayed edges, but I really don't know a lot about this book. It's got this underneath, kind of cool. Um, I know this is like a space story about training to avenge Earth's destruction. And it essentially sounds like her brother's sent off to war and she's sent to a nursery to bear sons. And that just sounds terrifying. And to be honest, I don't think I'm going to read this book because I opened it and saw the um, trigger warnings. And it says um, it contains sexist, homophobic, transphobic, racist, and albiest attitudes, sexual assault, including discussion of forced pregnancy, violence, child abuse, radicalization as child abuse, genocide, suicidal ideation, and suicide. Um, I cannot stand forced pregnancy anything, so I don't know if I will read this, but there you go. Next are the special editions of Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. This matches the like special edition of Dune that came out with the fancy blue edges and the really pretty covers. So we've got Dune Messiah and Children of Dune, again, by Frank Herbert. You know what Dune is. You've probably seen the first part of the movie. And then we have Tethered by Elena R. Galia. This um, is an indie book, and I saw it on Bookstagram, and I was kind of intrigued at what the author was doing with this, and bought it secondhand. It is The Binding Chronicles Book 1, and what I kind of heard was that this is a mix between Twilight and Serpent and Dove. Twilight and something. And essentially this woman is forced to marry a vampire prince and they both hate each other. And it sounds fun. So I got it. Because I can. It's got really cool like chapter pages like that. Love that. The next one I got is also an indie book and it is called Kiss of Death by Alice Wilde. This is Tempting the Fates book one and it says one kiss to bind their souls, one kiss to end them. Um, I saw like concept art. You know how like sometimes on book talk they'll have like concept art um, or aesthetic for a book and I saw that and I that's what made me buy this book it looked so cool um, essentially you're following a character whose mother dies and it kind of sounds like a Cinderella story-esque where her mother dies her father remarries this like evil woman and her two cruel sons and her punishments get worse and worse and then her father dies and she's being sold into a, like a marriage with like a horrible lord and to save herself she makes a deal with the bargainer if she fails, she'll basically be beaten and probably murdered by her cruel husband's hand. If she succeeds, her father will live. Either way, her life is forfeit. She just doesn't know who to. And it sounds really interesting and really cool. And I love this cover. So hopefully it's good. I love me some indie books now. The next one I got is The Essential Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3 because I'm slowly trying to get all of these volumes because it's just in order collections of this comic series. Talked about this already, but this is the broken, no, this is the bookish box edition of Between Wrath and Mercy by Jess Weiskopf. And same with The House of Beating Wings by Olivia Wild Wildenstein. And then we have The Ashes and the Star Cursed King by Carissa Broadbent. This is a Crown of Nyaxia novel book two. Um, the first one is like Serpent of Night something. I don't remember the whole title. Anyway, um, I think I'll like this series. I think it'll be fun at the least. And I found this secondhand right after it came out for a really great price. So I went ahead and grabbed it while I could. I am just into indie stuff now, you know? And then we have book three in the Dangerous Damsel series. And that is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holton. I've really enjoyed this trilogy so far. And this is the last one. And so I went ahead and got it because I love it. This one you're following the Secret Service of Tea and Treason. The reason it says Secret Service is like the maids and butlers are a part of this Secret Service. And it's hilarious and amazing. And it's following those two characters, Alice, Agent A, and Daniel Bixby, Agent B. I love it. Then we have the Fairy Loot Edition of Silver in the Bone by Alexandra Bracken. 
the Fairy Loot Edition of the Fox Glove King by Hannah Witten. And I haven't talked about this, but this is the Fairy Loot Edition of Cursed by Marissa Meyer. I've talked about this book on my channel before, so you don't really need to know much, but I was waiting for my special Fairy Loot Edition to come in to match my edition of Gilded, which is down here. So there it is. And I bought this off of somebody because I really love this edition and missed out on it. It is the Goldsboro edition of Library, The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. And I love that it looks like a map and the sprayed edges are a map. It's fantastic. And it's signed and it's way better than the US cover. Um, I truly don't know what this is about. On the back it says, Edinburgh hides dark magic and secrets and Rope is going to hunt them all down. The adventure starts here. I just remember it sounded really cool about the Library of the Dead and there being kind of like a magical library. It says she calls on Zimbabwean magic and Scottish pragmatism to hunt down clues. Wow. Okay, so she discovers an occult library, a magical mentor, and some unexpected allies, and it sounds like she can talk to ghosts. Cool. And in that same vein, because I was finally able to track down book one, I ordered book two, Our Lady of Mysterious Ailments Goldsboro Edition from Goldsboro by T.L. Huchu. This is the second book, and it's yellow, and also has the map I love that and I will continue to buy this series in the Goldsboro editions because they're absolutely beautiful. Can't tell you really about book two because I haven't read book one, but yeah. And I got this in a bookish box so I don't really need to talk about it, but I wasn't really a fan of that edition so I ended up, I'm gonna unhaul it and I have it in this pile of other books that I need to film soon about an unhaul. But I went ahead and just got the um, indie normal edition, normal published edition, secondhand. So I got Bow Before the Elf Queen by J.M. Curl because I really like this cover and I love paperbacks. So I thought, why not just sell that, get rid of it, give it to somebody else who would buy it, and get the secondhand for cheaper. So yeah, we have that. It says, love is powerful force. It cannot be bought or stolen, but sometimes it can be fought for. Um, it sounds like it's kind of enemies to lovers, forced marriage. I don't really know. I talked about it in my unboxing, but yeah. Now we're going to get into just like my pride and joy. I cannot wait to show you. Oh my gosh. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was almost done. I'm not. Okay. So I had an arc that is very highly coveted, right? And I was specifically trying to trade it for one thing and one thing only. It was been, I had been trying to get it done for months. It was not happening. Somebody finally really wanted this arc and I really wanted this thing and we traded and we were both thrilled and like so happy we traded and we both like have such good feelings towards each other now, but I traded and got my unicorn. The fairy loot edition of Car of All series. I can't even believe it. It's like I've been looking for these for not $800 for so long and I finally have them in my hands and I can't believe it. Anyway, so we have Caraval. Oh, I'm gonna cry. And they're all signed, which is fantastic. And they all have a little thing on the dust jacket and on the spine so that if you line them up, it creates, um, you know, art on the end pages or art on the spines. I love it. Book two, Legendary. And book three, Finale. Oh, I'm just so happy. I never thought this day would come and it did. And my life is complete. Not really, I need Pen Dragon Society once I've had a broken heart. But if you have that and you wanna give it to me or sell it to me, I would happily get it. That's that, I won't spend too much time on them, but you know how I love Carval and they're gonna be a prominent spot here. I'm gonna probably have to move some of my once upon a broken heart ballads, but that's okay, it's okay. Then we have the Illumicrate edition of Lies We Sing to the Sea by Sarah Underwood. This is interesting, but I don't really know a lot about it. Edges are pretty. It says, her life to appease a god, his life to save a kingdom, her lies to destroy them all. Got a really pretty signed book plate thingy with the foiling. Her cover's really pretty too. Every summer they hang 12 maidens as a gift to the vengeful Poseidon. Oh, it's following Leto. Leto has escaped until now. And instead of dying, she wakes on a mysterious island, greeted by an immortal. And Leto has the chance to break the curse if she kills the prince of Ithaca. So yeah. Then we have the Fairy Loot Edition of The Seven Faceless Saints by K.M. Lobb. This is another book that I was actually pretty interested in and I got secondhand for like five bucks. I was pumped because I did not want to buy this full price. And that is Nocturne by Alyssa Weiss. This is 
I believe this is like a nutcracker retelling kind of a thing, but it's also, um, I've heard if you like Caraval, you like like magical stories like that, you will like this. Um, it says it's also a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Just sounds interesting. It also sounds like a fan of the opera retelling. I don't really know. It sounds mysterious and fun. So it sounds magical and fun and hopefully it is. My dog is so needy. Okay. Next we have A Spinster's Guide to Danger in Dukes by Amanda Collins. This is the third installment in the Ladies Most Scandalous series. I blew through the first two and I'm very excited about the male interest in this. So can't wait. You're following Miss Poppy, who's in the second book, and then you're following the Duke of Langham, and he's kind of a player and kind of fun and kind of reminds me of Tristan from uh, A Rogue of One's Own. So I'm excited about this one a lot. Sorry, I had to give him a toy to preoccupy him and it's loud. So we have the Goldsboro edition of The Shield Maiden of Shield Maiden by Sharon Emmerich. Got little spray edges things. You're following the niece of Beowulf, and she's also disabled and is becoming a warrior. There you go. Short and sweet, short and sweet. And then I have a wonderful possession, and that is the Broken Binding Editions of the Ember Blade, the first two books by Christopher Wooding. I think I will absolutely love this series once I get into it. I've heard it's like the modern Lord of the Rings, just like a new fantasy, high fantasy, just like monster, like star. Um, it's a beautiful edition. It has this really pretty um, sprayed edges, really pretty um, in papers and stuff, but the foiling is a sword, which is awesome. This is a chonker book, but I think I'm going to really love this series, and so I was very happy that I was able to get the Broken Binding editions. And then book two in that series is The Shadow Casket by Christopher Wooding. Chris Wooding. This is the stenciled on these in the little foiling. And it says, a land under occupation, a legendary sword, a young man's journey to find his destiny. Um, they've described it as Lord of the Rings and he has to take this like magical sword and destroy it, I think. He's thrown into a prison mine, doomed to work until he dies, but then he's saved and the Ember Blade is the key to, you know, this revolution. And it's like the Excalibur of this time and he has to steal it. So very excited to read this series. And then we have the Fairy Loot edition of Defend the Dawn by Bridget Kemmerer. This is the second book in the Defy the Night series and I needed to get the sequel, so I did and there it is. Also got a little tiny thing. It's cute. And then we have the Goldsboro edition of The Witch and the Czar by Olesa Salvanoka Gilmore. It's a beautiful edition. I know nothing about this. It says Yaga lives deep in the Russian forest, tending to any that call upon her for healing potions and vast wisdom. Um, the Witch and the Czar upends the stories we know of Baba Yaga as the bony legend as the bony-legged witch of Slavic fairy tales and the stuff of nightmares. For beyond the rumors of her iron nose, fangs for teeth, and house on chicken legs is the story of a woman so wise and strong that she has to be cloaked in lies to hide her true power. Sounds cool, and this is a beautiful edition. And then my husband got this for me secondhand because I've kind of been collecting these editions, and this is the leather-bound, or fake leather-bound, Barnes & Noble editions of the Star Wars books, and this is the Star Wars trilogy with Vader and this fun little spine and C-3PO and R2 on the back with gilded edges. So we got this second hand and I love it. And then I also got the Illumicrate editions of these books so far, but I also got the Fairy Loot ones and they haven't arrived yet. And I'm not sure which one I'm gonna keep. That's why I got them both because I wasn't sure and I couldn't decide, so I just did it. Um, and that is the Crescent City series, which is not my favorite, but I do like it. The first one being House of Earth and Blood, Illumicrate edition with these beautiful edges. And then it's got really pretty like hardcover stuff on it. And it also came with like overlays and stuff. I don't really use those. And then Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. No, House of Sky and Breath with these beautiful edges as well. And naked hardcover. Oh, here it is, Babel for the Elf Queen. We're getting rid of that. Bookish box, um, The High Mountain Court by A.K. Mulford. We've already talked about this one, so here you go. The Illumicrate edition of Song of Silver, Flame Like Night by Emily Wenzel. Very late edition of City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaefer. Then I got this because it was like five bucks because I always wanted to have a copy of it but never got it. And that is The Lives of Saints by Lee Bardugo. It's just like a bunch of stories about the saints in this world. And then because I bought the first book, I bought the rest of them of this series and the second one is The Theft of Night by Instar Kayani. Really pretty edges. 
relentless path that's what this series is called the first one is thorn and a darkness at the door And the first one is a Goose Girl retelling, but I haven't read it, so I don't know how the series continues, but I wanted to get the matching set. And then we have this little novella, Killjoy by Holly Jackson. Um, I knew this existed, but I think this is one of the first times it's been in print. I could not tell you for sure, but this is essentially the beginning of Pip's story. And I think this is like what um, drives her to try to solve the case that leads to a good girl's mind guide to murder. So I wanted to read this. It was secondhand. And then another indie book I have is Blood Mercy by Vella Roth. I've heard a lot of good things about this, and this is Blood and Grace book one. This is an indie romance, vampire fantasy romance thing. I don't really know. On the back, it says one human, one immortal. Will, will their alliances save the kingdom or will their forbidden love be a death sentence? Um, and I honestly didn't know much about it. There's several um, people, if I just... There's several things where if I just hear pretty good things about an indie fantasy romance or just an indie fantasy book, I will give it a shot because I think it'll be fun. And if it's not, I can sell it. But I usually try to buy them secondhand, which is the case for this one. So I got it. We'll see if it's worth the hype. And yeah. Next, we have the Illumicrate edition of The Red Scholar's Wake by Elliot de Bodard. Got some pretty ombre edges and some fun little art. I know nothing about this. Set against a backdrop of an interstellar war against piracy and the five fleets, brutal fight to survive each other and the attackers arrayed against them. This is an exciting space opera and a beautiful romance for an exceptional SF author. Whoop, there you go. And then I have the EmmaHam.com exclusive edition of These Bitter Blooms by Emma Ham. This is her own, she like will make books and put them on her website and they're limited and I got one of them and it's got the normal cover, but the edges are this really pretty rose pattern. And the under dust jacket, there's cover art. I don't have time for this. There's cover art, whoop. And the underneath the dust jacket is this really beautiful faux leather with gold foiling. And it says, and so the witch fell in love and the end papers are everything to me. And I love Emma Ham, and I'm pretty much just gonna buy all of her books regardless if I've read them or not, because I read two books in the Dragon Umbria series and fell in love. So I'm just convinced that all of her books will be mine and I will love them all. Maybe that's not a good perspective to have, but that's what I'm going for and I buy her books. She's an auto-buy author for me. And then we have the Goldsboro edition of The Book of Eve by Meg Colother. And it's got really pretty spade, braid edges. And it says, in pages hide an ancient secret, the truth could cost her life. In the name of the father, not of a word of this, her letters are forbidden. The Book of Eve is a beautiful and, and spellbinding story of female empowerment. And essentially she works at a convent and she finds a magical book and people want the magical book destroyed. I feel like I don't even have to get into these, but I finally got the Fairy Loot editions that I ordered of Legendborn and Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. This is in our Arthurian legend retelling. I've heard it's a mixture between the Shadowhunters universe and Arthurian legend and the edges are beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And the hardcovers pretty much look, woo, very similar, but they're beautiful color choices and everything. So I have the legend born cycle in Fairy Loot Edition at last. And then I have the special edition of Winter of the Wicked by J.L. Vampa. I will continually buy the special like seasonal editions of the Sister Solstice series. The Sister Solstice series. This is book two and it's following winter. And I think I'm going to actually love this one a lot. And I've heard it's got really dark like carnival or caraval vibes. And that is my jam. So I'm very excited. And this is what the naked hardcover looks like. It's glossy this time, not matte. I don't love that, but I love the designs. So I'm gonna continue to get these and I got it. Super sweet and it says Rise Wild One. And then we have the Fairy Loot Edition of The Adventures of Almania Al Serafi by Shannon Chakravorty. And I've already talked about this. This edition is beautiful. And then last but not least, we have a series of special edition series that I bought from Bookish Box. So let me just get them all out. It's gonna be a struggle. So I got the Savage Lands series bookish, bookish box edition by Stacey Marie Brown. And they have this beautiful naked hardcover editions and the spines are all something different that make up a picture. I'll try to make it for you. So we have Savage Lands, Wild Lands, 
Deadlands, Badlands, Bloodlands, this cover's terrifying, and Shadowlands. I love this cover because it looks like a circus. And the edges are all really fun, but when you put them on your shelf, I'm not gonna be able to do this perfectly, but it creates an image like this, and I love that. I'm a sucker for that. And all I know about this series is that it's kind of like a paranormal urban fantasy type romance where there are fae? I don't know, some some magical beings. And she ends up, the main character ends up going to this like prison for doing something wrong. It's kind of a uh, dystopian society. She ends up going to this prison and she has to break out and she finds a guard and they hate each other. He hates her. He wants her to die or something, but they team up. I really don't know. I used to know. <laughs> But um, I thought I would like it. I thought I would have a fun time with the series. So that's why I invested in this because it was beautiful. If I don't like it, I can give it to somebody who would love it and give it a good home. But yeah, that is the end of this book haul. I tried to do it really fast. It probably was really fast and you probably hate me because I probably didn't give you any information. But of course, if you would like to have any, any other thoughts or information on these books, just comment down below and I will put it up for you when I read them or just respond in a comment, you know? I try not, I feel like I try not to buy a lot of books, but I get a lot of books in book boxes and I get a lot of special editions through book boxes. And then a lot of the other stuff I buy secondhand or I have pre-ordered. So there's that. I'm thinking about discontinuing my Goldsboro subscription. Let me know what you think of that. But that was this big haul. Um, I'm going to do an unhaul very soon in the future, especially because I have technically run out of time for my last change book challenge, which is unfortunate because I didn't read a lot of them. I might keep a handful of them but for the most part I'm gonna get rid of them um yeah so that is it for today's video please comment down below and let me know what you think of this about the end hauls the hauls anything you would like please like this video if you liked it subscribe if you want to and I will see you next time stay safe and caffeinated bye